Hey, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose back at you with another Tech Take. And today, my friends, we are taking a look at the Square Rock Commander M1 all-in-one podcast audio interface. You can connect this to your PlayStation, your Xbox, your Switch, your laptop, your smartphone, your tablet, your Mac, any kind of device that's taking a microphone in and sending audio out. You can connect this all-in-one podcasting interface to it and have some fun. So cool. Now, you can also get this by itself if you choose, but they also sell the M1 as a bundle with an included microphone and mic stand as well, such as the Square Rock STU-1 Plus. This is an XLR condenser microphone that does take 48 volts. You can pair it with the Commander 1. And again, this is a nice looking microphone. It's got a red uh, it's got a red tit underneath the mesh grill and of course the shock mount like I mentioned before and it just kind of works just fine yeah really high quality microphone I'm kind of taking my time because as you'll hear throughout this entire video we're using this microphone paired with a square rock commander one and I got to tell you this sounds fantastic I'd have to say all the audio interfaces that I've tried before this has to be hands down the best sounding audio interface paired with microphone that I've tried before ever, and that's saying a lot. All right, so you have this microphone to choose from. Second microphone you can choose from is the Square Rock STU-1. This is not an XLR microphone. It'll just connect to the mic port on the back and then it'll get its power from there. But yeah, through this interface, you can connect the total up to four different microphones. So these are the different microphones that you can choose to bundle up with your Commander S1. All right, so what do you think of the sound so far? Bar. Uh, let's take a closer look at our audio interface, the Square Rock Commander One. All right, so we'll start from the center and then work our way out. Of course, you'll see your power button here. I really like the way when you turn it on, it really does like a nice little cool light display as it's turning itself on, as it's booting itself up. You also have the light button here so you can do various levels of light intensity from the interface. So we'll press it. You can see how it gets lower, lower until it actually turns off. And then we have our brightest setting right there. Uh, going to the side, uh, you'll see our mic setting switch. This can choose from a condenser to a dynamic microphone, meaning this switch only works for mic R2 and mic L1. Okay, so if you had like maybe a Shure SM7B or other kind of dynamic microphones, you can connect it to these ports and switch this over to the dyna dynamic part so it can pair with those microphones properly. Uh, let's move on. You have your phone one and phone two. I love this about the all-in-one uh, podcasting interface. Again, you can connect your cell phone or your tablet to this and use it as an additional call and interface. So later on in the video, I'm going to call my wife using my phone and I'm just going to call her and we're going to have a conversation using it over my phone. You can even think of it as using it as a uh, different calling. So let's just say if you want to do a podcast and you've already got four microphones connected, you can have two more as call-ins for a total of six people chatting it up and having a great time and using all the cool features of this audio interface. All right, and you have two of them, like I said before, phone one and phone two. Now, again, we have our mic R2, and all the way to the side, we have our mic, oh, that's being used right there, and our mic L2. These are, again, our mic line-in microphones using the STU1 microphone. You can either use this kind of microphone or other microphones that support that kind of port. But yeah, those are the options that you have to actually connect those microphones up to a total of four microphones going on. Right here, we have our instrument port. So of course, if you want to connect maybe something that uses an instrument cable, such as a guitar, you can connect it directly into your audio interface and include it if you want to record music or just make it part of the podcasting experience or broadcasting experience. You do have that option. Uh, you have a speaker port. This is our audio out going to my audio recorder right now. You also have a music port. Now, the music port, you can use any kind of device that's going to be setting audio out, maybe a radio, a CD player, CD player, MP3 player, or even your smartphone. You can use that for specifically music, right? Now, you could use the phone one and phone two for music as well, but this is your extra one dedicated if you wanted a dedicated music out source. Now, our last ports on the on the outside, this is your PC data ca cable, meaning you can connect this also to your laptop or your computer and use it as a PC audio interface, meaning that you can record whatever's happening on the board and also on the microphone to your PC and also vice versa, whatever's happening on the PC, you can send that back to the audio interface using the loop back button, more on that later. And of course we have our charging port here so you can charge up this audio interface. And if you take a look, we're not connected to any power source at all. We're going 
freestyle with this setup. I wanted to show you the interfaces in the back so you can plug a lot of devices to this thing. All right, let's move our way to the top. You can see we have our treble, our mid, our bass, our pitch, our music, and monitor. Obviously, with a tr treble, we can affect the sound of our voice in any kind of way you want. If we bring in more brightness, if we want to bring up our mids, we could do that as well. And also, if we want to make our voice bassier, we can affect the bassiness of it as well. You also have your pitch. Now, the pitch, you just can't use it free willy-nilly. This is for the audio effects here to the side that actually use a kind of pitch. And of course, we have our music volume here as well. So we, when we connect the music source in, we can adjust the volume of the music that's actually coming into the interface. And we have our monitor button. This plays with the monitor signal going out to my recorder or whatever device you have. Moving down one more row, we have our reverb setting. This reverb knob is for the additional reverb you wanna add into your signal. You, it's not gonna happen on the OST signal. This is, OST is just your normal flat voice. But once you engage all the other audio elements, I'm sorry, once you engage this button right here, but just normal person or studio, you can actually engage the reverb effect right there. Next, we have our display that shows you everything that's happening with the audio interface, just as the things that you have on, turned on, things that are activated, your settings, uh, your fader settings as well, as I'm manipulating that. Uh, yeah, you can see everything that's happening right here. And I love the look of this. It just looks really cool. Again, oh, not even again. I want to make this really clear. This is not a toy. This does not feel like a toy. This does not look like a toy. It is not weighted like a toy. This is some serious piece of hardware right here. Moving on, we have the output. Now, the output is separate from your monitor. The monitor is the speakers that are going out. The output is the actual volume that's actually going to your PC. So you have two different range of a uh, of volume control of audio that's actually coming out from this interface. All right, let's get to the cool stuff with our audio, uh, with our vocal manipulation effects. We have a male voice and a female's voice filter right here. So we'll press this right here and you can hear the voice. I'm sorry, the male filter that's being tested right now. Now here I can actually use the pitch to affect to affect the pitch of the male voice. You can hear it go lower and maybe not so low. The same thing if I press it again. It'll go to the female voice and that does not sound like female at all. But we'll play with the pitch. It goes from high pitch all the way to a lower pitch. A lower high pitch. We'll bring that back down. Now we'll play with the kid and the robot. And this is what it sounds like. The kid sounds more like a chipmunk, but Who's comparing? Let's play with the pitch, and this is what it sounds like. All the way deeper pitch and higher pitch. We'll tap again for the ro robot. And this is what the evil robot overlord sounds like, as they're eventually going to take over with AI. Uh, no doubt we'll be taking over, and I'll just pitch shift it right there. But not today, AI, not today. Let's switch it out to... This is our normal voice now. Now, this is our normal voice setting. It allows us to add reverb to it. So I'll just bring up the slider here. You can hear how much reverb is actually going to my voice. Now we'll tap it again, and this will go to like a, an on stage mode. And there we go. So now there's a little more reverb, a little more echo happening as well. And of course, you can actually play with that, uh, play with the saturation of that as well. That's a really cool effect. It sounds really cool, really holly boxy like I'm in a stadium of some sort. All right, and now we'll go, again, we'll go back to OST, and that brings it back to default to just a plain sounding um, spot. All right, let's move on to the next button, which is the commander button. Now, this is really cool. Square Rock came up with the commander button because they just know that there's a lot of dials here to play with, meaning there's a lot of dials to mess up your oh beloved settings. So with the commander button, what it does is, you can set a preset of the way that you like everything here and save it. No matter what the dials look like, no matter what they're turned to, you can actually save it that way. So I'm gonna show you this right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to, I'm gonna play with them. I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna switch the, I'm, I'm just gonna play with everything. And I set my settings that you hear right now as my default settings. So just imagine my, uh, my kids decided to play with this and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to do a podcast or something. And what did they do? They completely messed up my settings. The bass is all crazy. The mid's crazy. The treble's all insane. You know, if they've got some kind of, um, they've got an effect going on. They've got a reverb going on. It's just insane. All I have to do is just press the commander button, commander button. And it goes back to my original settings like it was before. So let me turn it off and let me switch everything back down to normal pitch and my music and we will oh, go back to OST 
just like that. So really cool feature. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I already have my phone connected to Bluetooth. So try it out. There we go. And of course, with my music dial, I can go make it louder, softer, whatever it is. Let's uh, let's leave the music here as we uh, move on with the audio interface of this. And we'll check out some other parts. Of course, you have the mute button where it actually. Now you can turn on the denoise and what the denoise does, it actually uh, it tries to do its best to remove any kind of noise that's happening in the background of your signal. Now, while yeah, it does come in helpful. I always find out that it it. it it puts some crazy gate on my voice where it sounds like my voice is going in and out. I prefer to leave it off, but yeah, there we go. Um, all right, moving over, we have our auto tune. If you, if for, if for some reason you want to sing on this and you feel like you're out of key, well, don't worry about it because with auto tune, you can now sing in tune. You see that? And you can actually do different auto tunes at the bottom, as you can see right here. As I'm pressing, you can go through the different keys as it's going on. All right, now music only. Let's go back to our music. I'm gonna take off the auto, no, OST to turn it off, to go back to default. Let's go back to our music. And if I press music only, if I had an audio track, a vocal track on this, it would remove the center channel where the audio track normally is, and you would just hear the music, or it would do its best to remove the vocals from the track. Oh, come on. You were just doing so well. Why'd you stop? Perfect. So I'll play music only. You can hear how it actually removes the, the vocals right from the center channel. That's awesome. All right. Now, we'll do the loopback channel. Loopback, this is specifically when you have it connected to your PC. If you have any audio that's actually coming from the PC that you want to integrate into the, into the Commander M1, you press the loop back and it'll send all audio from the PC directly into this. So if you're doing a Zoom call, that audio will go into this. If you want to play effects or follow along in some video that you're watching, maybe you're doing a reaction video, it'll send the audio to this. Without it, you're just recording directly to the PC. So keep that in mind. And then we also have the side chain. What the side chain let me does is as soon as I press it, when I engage it, as soon as I talk, the audio will actually duck itself down. So watch this. I press it and you can hear the, the audio actually just bring itself down. So this is really cool. I can actually act like I'm actually a, a real radio person. What's up, guys? Thank you for joining Low. Today we're listening to all the top 40 music right now. So right now I got some song from some dude. Enjoy. So if for some reason you want to live out your radio DJing career or dream, you have that opportunity with the side chain. All right, let's turn that off, turn the music down. Now we have our, our fader section. And as you can see, this is the faders where we have for our right mic, which is this, our instrument. If we had an instrument channel, we can connect it to that. And also our mic left. So let's actually introduce the left mic and give you my comparison. I'm going to mute my... All right, and this is what this microphone sounds like. And yeah, they actually sound very comparable. I know this is a XLR um, through there using 48 volts and this one, they sound the sa exactly the same in my headphones. And yeah, here we go. Yeah, you sound like that. <laughs> and you sound like that. They sound like exactly the same. So you can get whatever mic you want. It sounds like you're gonna, you're gonna get the same great quality across the board. All right, it's, uh, let's go to there. Let's move on. Let's get to our effects and wrap this baby up. All right, so you got a couple of cool effects here. Again, it's the same way. You press one for... Very well. Well, thank you very much. What do you think about it? You think it's very well so far? I think so. And if you hold it, you get the opposite one. No. Oh, yes. But yeah, I mean, you hold it and it's... Yeah. Oh, it was the effect. I'm sorry. Uh, happy and sad. So... <laughs> yeah. I didn't think it was that funny. Did you? Okay. And then hold it down. What? Oh, no. I don't know what happened, but yeah. Uh, cat and dog. Ooh, ooh, okay. Hold it down, cat. Pretty face. Um, if you can somehow find this. Okay. If you can somehow find this work into your podcasting setup. Good on you. All right. All the power to you. And also. Oh, no. Did you have to say that? Be nice. And also. Ooh, you got knocked out. All right. 
Now let's go back down here. These are already pre-installed with some effects, but you can also install your own effect on these. But just to let you hear so far. Thank you very much. All right, this one. You're listening to Low Notes. That's right. All right, then we'll press the next one. Oh yeah, get it, get it, get it. One, two, three, let's go and climb some trees. All right, all right that's it, we'll, we'll go to the next one. Oh yeah, a little fast. Mm, 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 mm. Epa, go, go, go. All right, I, I, I'm having way too much fun with this. To our next one. Ooh, heartbeat, slow, dramatic. What are you gonna do? It stopped. Let's move to the next one. Oh, don't you ever wonder sometimes what life is just all about? Scaling the hills and seeing the clouds roll by. Something like that. Oh, but thank you for cutting off like that. And... <gasps> don't go in there. Yeah. Now, the last one did have a pre-installed sound effect, but I deleted it because I want to show you how to load your own sound effects on. So, in order to do that, you want to just tap it twice to clear it out. You know it's clear by pressing it and you'll get a beep sound. Now, if you want to record something, just hold it down and immediately when you see, start seeing it to blink, start recording whatever audio you want. And that could be music coming from a device, maybe from your computer or even your voice. So check this out. Let's hold it down. Here we go. Here's a test of me recording on the, uh, I forgot what it's called. Your, what is it called again? Yeah, I'm going to start over there. And from here, now I can load up my custom sound onto this. I believe it lasts up to about a minute long. And you also get these clear stickers that you can put on top and write down what your custom effect is if you'd like to do that. All right, let's take a look. Oh. Let's take a listen back. And from here, now I can load up my custom sound onto this. I believe it lasts up to about a minute long. And you also get these clear stickers that you can put on top and write down what your custom effect is if you'd like to do that. All right. Wow. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I can tell you from so many different audio devices that I've tried before where you can, add, where you can load up your custom sounds, this has, first of all, the most truthful, faithful volume when you record to what you listen to and the quality as well. It says it records at 48 hertz, so that's really good. All right. Our last thing, let's do the let's make a call. All right. So we're going to take a this cord right here, this is from a phone to your audio interface. So I'm gonna plug this back here to phone number one. All right, there we go. And you can see the phone light pop up there. Then I'm gonna connect this to my smartphone dongle. This doesn't come with the device, so make sure you have one of these separately if you're using an iOS device. I will plug it right here. And now I'm going to call my son and let's have some fun. I did give him a heads up. Ring one on the million dollar call. Hello. Hey, Lucas. Hey, dad. Hey, uh, you're now you're on with low nose. Your dad doing the review for this audio interface, the Square Rock Commander M1. What do you think? Am I getting paid for this? Oh, my gosh. Maybe one day, but not now. But what do you think? It sounds pretty clear. Yeah, pretty clear. Okay. You can actually use this on your PlayStation, your Xbox, so you can do all the goofy sounds like this. Yeah. Well, while you're actually playing or talking to your friend or your son. Okay. Can you tell me a joke? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. <laughs> That's a joke. I genuinely don't know why you call Awesome. Through. Lucas, thank you so much for helping out. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Pay me later. Bye. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, there you go. Um, that is a Square Rock, Square, the Square Rock Commander M1 audio interface for your PlayStation, gaming devices, Xbox, Switch, laptop, computer, uh, smartphone, tablet all in one and if you want to you can also get additional microphones for it as well and the headset uh to boot all right let me give you my final thoughts uh i'm gonna start off with this number one let me reiterate this is not a toy this is high quality built all the way there's nothing play toy about this the weight the look 
the feel, solid all around, backed up by a great sounding microphone and audio interface combo. I'm gonna say it again, this is probably, this probably has to be one of the best mic audio vo vocal sounding audio interfaces I've used when it comes to these all-in-ones, hands down. Is a perfect? No. But man, this is the best by far, hands down, as far as the audio sounds um, when it comes to the vocal pickup. Um, as far as what I wish was better, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, okay, I, I will say this. You're not going to hear it on your end. And I'm not sure if it's maybe just the headphone preamps, but in my ear, I do hear like some self noise, like some maybe little interference that's happening in the background, but it never, ever gets to the recording. I want to make that clear. So I'm, I'm hearing myself and I think that it's, it's not clear, clean or clear. It is because the recording comes out clear, but that's just something that I hear on my end in my, in my headphones. Uh, maybe it could be, I could use a higher quality cord or whatnot, but that's my only thing. And, and it's something that you're not going to even hear on your, on your end. So I'm, I'm just saying this to just be completely open with you. All right. That's it. Uh, that's the square rock again, say that three times, the square rock, the the Square Rock Commander M1 All-in-One Podcast Bundle Kit, or well, your optional bundle. All right, guys, really hope this video helped you out in making your decision and helping you feel good about this. Take care. Bye. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own Square Rock Commander M1. Guys, also make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future videos. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here, and also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.